Partnerships, relationships, and stress. Oh, you can see that one. Hi, I'm Steve Weymouth. I'm a lecturer in 3D CGI modelling and animation here at the College of Fine Arts, uh, teaching in the School of Media Arts. I gave a, a lecture uh, titled Caricaturing Motion, a Perception of the Animator, which looked at uh, what I consider the perception qualities an animator brings to um, uh, evaluating and translating movement through character. I started the the examples with the definition of animation, pointing out that there were many definitions of animation. Uh, I settled on the one that uh, is quoted in most dictionaries that has the root meaning um, in Latin from the word anima, which means to breathe life. I extend that to uh, character animation because if you're breathing life into a character, into an object that's moving as though it has life, it has character. So. Um, I concentrate on the delivery of character through animated performance. I tend to feel that animation as a definition should be um, related to the illusion of life, uh, which is what the uh, Disney animators, uh, Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnson, uh, approached in their book of the same title. Um, uh, and for me, that, that illusion in animation is the, the mastery of, of animation. The animator for me is, it has a special skill and a special ability that they um, uh, develop through perception, their visual perception and their emotional perception. They are condensing uh, a performance and putting that into a character that doesn't exist. Uh, this is completely different to film acting, where you have an actor who's an entity that they, um, you believe that they're alive before you believe their character. An animated character um, is not real, there's nothing there, it's just a series of still images or, or a computer generated sequence of movements. This is, I must make clear, distinct to um, motion capture, which is recorded physical performance from a, a human actor. Character animation is completely uh, constructed by the animator. So there's a very special skill when you can engage an audience with, um, uh, say, one, one of the examples I think was used by one of the other speakers in the lecture, um, Dumbo, in feeling um, sad about his mother being locked up. Uh, this is just a series of, of painted images, but we, as an audience, bring our emotions to the story. and are uh, totally engrossed in that uh, emotion. Um, that I remember that scene from when I was a child and, and it still affects me now, looking at it with my own kids. So there's a lot of power in what an animator does and, and these are skills that are developed over many, many years. It's not something that uh, you can get gained by osmosis and sitting next to an animator and learn. You need to uh, understand a very complex set of, of uh, skills to become an animator. It's not just the, the, um, the principles of animation.